Hello, welcome to another uh, of my Napoleonic adventures. Uh, this particular one focuses on um, painting a Prussian musketeer. As you know, over the last couple of videos, I've been sort of uh, going through it bit by bit and asking for people's feedback and um, advice and hints and tips. So what I thought I'd do is I'd actually go through painting just a regular musketeer uh, in this instance, it's the 1st Silesian 1st Battalion, so it's got uh, yellow um, collars and cuffs and the white epaulets. I'm doing another video about the whole battalion uh, later when they're all finished, um, and, and then obviously there's a bit more stuff coming later on. But um, I'll also put on my blog as well, I'll put a link in below to the article on there which will give you more detail on uh, the people that have helped me sort of get this far. The uh, links to stuff and information that they've gave me uh, and the basic information that I couldn't find when I started the project. So hopefully that will help people that haven't got, that, that, that were in the same position as me a month ago when, you know, they're trying to find out information about how to, how to, uh, to, not accurately paint, but reasonably put together um, a, a representation of a, a, Pru a Prussian musketeer uh, battalion uh, circa 1812 to 1815. Um, so let's get on with it. Let's have a look what I've done. This will be the uh, miniature we're going to paint. It's a Calpe uh, 28mm Prussian musketeer. Um, there's not much else to say, really, other than that's what he is. Uh, base coated in black. Um, I don't usually base coat black, but I was advised um, by Von Ketteringham to paint them black. Uh, I forgot when I was uh, when I actually filmed a bit about the the priming of the miniature and stuff. I forgot to tell you what primer I use. I use this primer uh, from Vallejo. Now, it's primarily designed to be put through an airbrush. And you bang it through an airbrush, thin it down a bit, and well, it should go through if you if it's if it's if it's uh, if you mixed it properly, uh, it should go through straight away on an airbrush. But um, you drop a little bit of thinner, and it'll go through an airbrush quite easily. But I don't use it for an airbrush; I just brush it on. Um, I have a big a big brush, oops, like this, yeah, and I just uh, dab it on, uh, leave it for a while, and then I'll just go over it again. Um, and it's sort of like, I find it's brilliant, it covers really well and um, it, uh, it gives you a great painting surface, especially on metal. Um, it's one of the best primers uh, for metal that I've, I've found. Resin, it's brilliant, it gives you a great layer between uh, the resin and the, uh, and the paint. But yeah, that's good stuff. So, um, just for completeness, I just thought I'd put that in. Uh, first thing I do is um, do his trousers and the, um, I don't know if that's the great coat or bed roll or whatever, I don't know what it, actually what it is, but whatever that is, paint them basalt grey. I just use Vallejo basalt grey, but um, I'm sure that uh, you can find equivalents, there's plenty of colour reference conversion charts around on the internet. So uh, that's what I do first, that's all grey. What you can see now I've done is I've actually painted his um, jacket. Uh, his jacket is Prussian blue. In this instance I've used Foundry's Prussian blue, which is that one. Um, there are lots of Prussian blues, you don't have to use Foundry, it's just that I'm using Foundry. Um, and then what I've done is I've gone over all the bits that I want to be light. I've just gone over in buff, which, you know, coat of arms buff, but you can use any buff. Uh, sometimes I won't even use buff. I'll say I'll use flesh. I'll just do the whole lot in flesh. Uh, depends on how lazy I'm being uh, or ivory or whatever. Just it's basically the point is where I want stuff to be light. I underpaint it with this stuff. I'm not being particularly neat. It doesn't matter. Uh, the style of um, painting that I'm doing is, 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 is painting for armies. I'm not interested in um, 
millions of washes and highlights and stuff the only thing you have to make sure you do is hit the bits that you want to, that you want to be light um, because it reduces the amount of light colors that you're going to be using because you're painting over fairly dark colors so you know when you've done the jacket in, 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 in a dark blue in the, in the, you know, in the Prussian blue um, you're going to go over bits and pieces where uh, you want it to be light so uh, that's why I do it because it just means I don't have to be too 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 neat because I'm batch painting armies. So then, from the, for the, the next the next bit now, I, I I generally do is I'll paint the weapon because um, I want to make sure that I've got. There's a lot of bits on it that are going to be awkward later. The neck that after that I'm going to be doing the, the the face and the collar, hands and cuffs. So that's why I do the weapon next. And the reason why I do those is because they are quite awkward um, to get at later on. So uh, I'll get on with that. So I've done his gun. Uh, well, I've only done the stock actually with um, new wood. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of uh, woods out there, but I just do the stock wood at this point because I want to make sure that that's out of the way because there's, that, that we're going to start actually now putting colour on. Um, at the moment all I've actually been doing is blocking out areas where I want colour to go uh, I've not really been particularly um, neat in getting the colour on obviously it's quite patchy in places but but the point the, the point I'm making at this stage is the fact that now I know everywhere where colour has got to go and I know what colours are going to go where um, as I say I'm painting this for um, you know, fast batch painting of Napoleonic miniatures. I'm not, I'm not after a Golden Demon Award or a Crystal Brush. I just need an army painted. So anyway, so like I say, I blocked the wood out. I had the black out because I've just got over the barrel and stuff. So um, I've just tidied up a bit of the black areas around where the grey's gone over the black boots, uh, with the cartridge box and uh, under his, under the peak on his on his hat. Um, so that's now we can actually start putting proper colour on um, and sort of painting him. Okay. So what I've done now is I have um, just gone over his face in flesh, painted out the um, collar and cuffs, his hands in flesh. I forgot to mention when I was doing the gun, I also did the little tip on his sword there and the. Um, emblem on his cartridge pack there. I've done the turn backs in Mephiston red. Uh, the best red you can get for covering uh, for base coats in my opinion. Um, not that my opinion counts for that much but there you go. Um, so the next thing I'll do is I'll just dab a bit of the lighter yellow onto the where I put the um, base colour yellow which is this Avaland sunset stuff um, which is also a brilliant base for yellow. Um, and move on to something else. Okay, we're a bit further on now. Um, I've done the yellow and white. Uh, obviously, white's white. We know what white is. Um, I use the um, the Avalon base, as you know, and then I've used this one, the uh, Uriel yellow. Although occasionally I'll use that yellow, and I'll do the sun yellow from Coat the Arms as well. Uh, after just before we do the final washes and stuff, uh, there's a reason for that. So um, that's what he's looking like now. Uh, he still looks a bit scrappy, but the magic will happen, I promise you. And uh, just so as you can see, I'm doing the whole company at the same time. So uh, he's one of eight or one of seven because the officer dude there is uh, wearing his grey grey coat. But the other, the other seven are um, all at the same state. So that's taken me, uh, you know, just a morning of sitting down, just painting one colour at a time all the way through. So then, I've done a bit more on him. Um, like I said, I've done the metal on his gun. Uh, that's, that's run that in. Um, I did his back pack oh by the way the metal I used was just ordinary gun metal uh, did his backpack 
which I believe I did in um, German medium brown. Camo medium brown, is it? Yeah. Uh, and they got this like leather thing there. I did that in uh, English uniform. English uniform makes a brilliant leather. Um, and then his gun strap. Uh, there, the gun strap. I just did that in cavalry brown. Um, that's about it. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the linen. This is a linen bag. Um, I'll do linen and follow the linen straps through. Uh, what else? I'll do a lot of touching up now. It's just a case of going because I'm doing a batch, you see. Um, I just put a little spot of paint out of each colour that I've used and I just go through the whole batch and just touch up where you've gone over. I'll show you, I'm going to give you an example. I've got one chap somewhere who's got uh, quite blue legs. See this one? Yeah, he's got blue on his legs where uh, I just happen to be picking another mini up off the off the rack and the brush of the blue paint went over his trousers. See, I don't worry about things like that because uh, you can always go over them at the end. And there's little spots and spats from places, you know, where uh, you've gone over the colours. But uh, as long as you go over and um, touch it all up afterwards, I mean, I think there's a spot of, you know, there's a spot of white there. Where I've just touched his coat with the white as I was doing that, so I'll just do that. And I think I've gone over a bit of his epaulette there with the leather brown. I'll just spot a white in there. Do you know what I mean? It's those sort of things, just tidying it up ready for the next phase okay after a bit of um, tidying up and finishing bits and pieces off uh, we're ready for the uh, the phase next which will be the magic um, I've done his bag linen and followed it through on the straps um, I've given him you can see he's got middle stone hair that's middle stone it comes up a nice sort of lighty browny blondy colour. Um, I've tidied up all of the spots, gone over all the bits where I've gone over, made sure that everywhere that I want colour, it's got colour. And this is the bit I now really enjoy, which is basically putting on a bit of washing, a few washes, and it sort of like brings him out of himself. So rather than just being flat coloured. Um, lump of metal he starts to look like something obviously there's bits and pieces I haven't done yet um, there's no highlights on him not that I'm doing many highlights and I haven't done his sword knot he's the fourth uh, company so I think their sword knots are red I'll have to double check that but I think they are um, got a few more little highlights and stuff to do um, but basically he's almost done now Okay, uh, a bit further on. Done some, uh, done a f just done the washes over the over the colours, uh, over the grey here. I've done uh, Norn oil. I think we all know what Norn oil is. Um, on the bag, uh, I've done um, chestnut wash or seraphin sepia. I think it's called these days. Right over the white straps, a bit of Norn oil. Um, and then on his face, I've used Talent in a Bottle, Agrax Earthshade. So now what all that's left to do is to do is to go back over bits in the base colour, just to highlight it, uh, and do things like put the highlight, the lighter red on there, go over bits and pieces. I'll be using a bit of highlighting on the trousers, uh, and then bring the final coat of blue up to scratch, and then do the brass. Then he's ready for dipping. Okay, so uh, I've finished him now, uh, as much as I'm doing, uh, with uh, the, you know, the, the bit of ink I've done. I've gone over bits and pieces. I've done his uh, coat in Prussian blue light, that is, um, by Foundry. Um, so it's light Prussian blue. I've put the brass bits on. It's just like brass. Um, Whilst we're done, painted his hat brown. It's an oil skin. The other ones I did, I painted it black with black grey, but um, 
I don't think it looked right. So on this on this batch, I've done them like uh, German camo camouflage black brown with a, with a mix of um, medium brown in it, black grey on his boots to uh, sort of make them not black, uh, but black if if that makes sense. So that's him now. Well, you could actually leave him there. You know, it looks reasonable enough in my opinion. But um, I'll give him the once over with uh, with, the, with with me dip just to give him a varnish coat and. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, if you ran over him now with like a black wash and then put a matte coat on him, I'm sure he'd be fine. But um, like I say, I use the dip. Um, the rest of them have come out well. He's just a sample. Um, a wounded guy. Uh, party guy. Looks like he's enjoying it. And, uh, the captain. So, like I say, I'll go and uh, get them dipped now, and uh, I'll show you what they look like when we finished. Because I always get asked whenever I mention the dip and I do a paint through or something, um, the dip I'm using is the Quick Shade uh, Dark Tone Dip. Uh, it's not neat, by the way. I I pour in white spirit into the actual dip itself. Um, not much you know a bit just to thin it down a bit because it makes it run better uh, these particular ones um, don't get dipped um, I'll show you what I do because like I say I always get asked so I thought I might as well show you so there's the stuff it looks really horrible but to be honest it's quite uh, straightforward to use get the bloke get a brush I have shaken it up first, and then all you do is that. And I just use one brush, full. They don't go in the dip as such. Let's get a bit more. It's not. It's not a great deal more, but you know, just give it a go. Paint it all on. And it looks really shitty uh, and messy. Don't forget to do the gun. But now what I do is get a bit of cloth, wipe it off, and then just dab off all the excess bits. Right, so in effect it's just really varnishing. You don't leave that much on. Um, You don't want it too dark. I don't like I say with the Napoleonics. I don't dip them in the dip. Uh, it, it doesn't do them any favors doing that. It's just like uh, it's a bit. It's no different really than um, Blutcher's method of uh, the varnish mix that he uses with the sepia brown gloss varnish. So there you go. Um, like I say, he looks a bit dark at the moment, but he'll come out well. All right, let's go and do the rest of it now. So he's our chap after the uh, after the dip. He's very shiny, obviously, um, but he looks all right. Uh, what I will do before I put the matte coat on is uh, probably just put spots of white back onto the. The straps just check bits and pieces uh, maybe add a little bit of a higher an edge in places do you know what I mean just to just to uh, help him out a bit do a little spot of, you know like a yellow on there the eagle eyes of you might have noticed that this is actually an NCO figure uh, but I've not actually bothered painting the bars on his the lines on his collar um, it's too fiddly for me um, and then what I'll do is I'll go over him in uh, matte this, this um, just a artist matte coat. Uh, I don't use matte sprays because I find them a bit too, uh, uh, they're not dependable enough. Um, they tend to frost uh, at random intervals and stuff so I don't really like using them so I, I just use a brush. I do everything with a brush. Um, so there you go. 
So I'll get them done and uh, there's the rest of the batch, they're all done and the next batch behind uh, is underway. Alright, catch in a bit. Okay, he's had a he's had a matte coat now <coughs> and I think he's looking good. Um, I may have said before, I like my toy soldiers to look like toy soldiers so I think he looks like a pretty good toy soldier to me. Um, so yeah, I'll get him uh, off the off the bolt now and onto the base with the rest of the lads and we'll see how he looks like. Uh, just before I go, I'll do that. This is my favourite miniature of this batch. I love this guy. I think he looks really cool. Uh, I've got a couple more of these. Um, yes, but I do like him. I think I think he looks really good. So, uh, well done Peter. Brilliant sculpt. And here they are. Uh, yeah, I think it looked well. That's the one uh, we painted through. Um, yeah, I think they look good as a unit. Yeah, they look good stuff when they're based up. And uh, they fit in well with the other the two that I've already done. So yeah, I'm uh, quite pleased with them. Okay. Well, thanks very much. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to waffle on a bit more, but uh, for now, he's done. So there you go. I hope that's helped somebody. Um, like I said, it's uh, I paint for uh, war games. I'm not a I'm not a, a figure painter as such. My stuff is mainly for use. It's not for looking at. Um, so. With a bit of work, I'm sure that uh, if somebody has the talent that I don't have, you know, with those colours and stuff, it should be able to make a quite reasonable looking uh, Prussian. Um, like I say, I'm going to do some more on stuff that I have had to find out. I'm not doing this for any other reason other than that I couldn't find the information when I was looking, so hopefully I can, you know, through my own efforts and researches, I can uh, help somebody in the same position as me. So I'm going to be doing... Um, the drummer uh, is something that I had a lot of problems with, so I'll do a similar sort of thing with the drummer. And I'm intending to do the fusiliers next, so I'll do a look at the fusiliers. Because the, the, the regiment generally had two battalions of musketeers and one battalion of fusiliers. Uh, and I'll probably, I've got some Jaegers as well, which uh, basically rifle armed infantry, skirmishing troops. Uh, they should arrive soon, and I'll look at them as well in the same way so uh, hopefully uh, it'll be useful and um, the whole thing can can help somebody else all right well thanks very much for watching and um, I look forward to hearing your comments and advice and hints and tips and whatever uh, if you want to know all the, all the detail and all the links and everything go and have a look at my blog links below and I'll link directly to the blog article that I'm that, that I'm referring to okay well thanks for watching bye Thank <laughs> you.